Hello, uh, here we're going to show how to add a new material to the material library in Forming Suite. Uh, Forming Suite comes with a default library of materials, but as you work with uh, different customers, you'll likely encounter different materials you need to add uh, and uh, update your library. So when you first launch Forming Suite, here's the screen you're going to see. You can start uh, just by exiting out of this. What we actually need is up in the Tools menu at the top, go to Material Library. And then here you'll see all the materials that come preloaded with uh, Forming Suite. Now to add a new material, just click the, the New button right here. And you get this, uh, it blanks it out and creates a new entry for you. So we'll just name this Test Material here. Any comments you have, such as what the customer it's for, or where you're getting the, getting the material from, can all be placed in the comments section here. And then you'll need to input the K values, the N values, the R values, and um, hopefully if you have them, the density, Young's modulus, Poisson's ratio, and yield stress. All of these numbers, if you don't have them, can be con uh, should be able to be uh, obtained from your steel supplier. Uh, they are not values that you can just figure out for yourself. They'll be found through laboratory testing. But just for this one, we'll put in these examples. Um, Okay, and once you have these values in, you have these. You can also go to the cost tab right here. If you have a, a fixed cost for the material, you can place it in here, and that will save you an extra step later on down the road at the end of creating your blank of putting the material costs in uh, for the material cost, scrap value, um, and so on. Uh, you can, if you don't know the material cost or if you think it's going to change, you can always add that uh, at the end of the uh, fast blank procedure as well. So whenever you finish this up, you can just hit accept. And you'll see now at the bottom of the material library, I've got this, my test material. And if I click on it, all the values that I enter are saved. And that's all you've got to do to enter a new material. If you want to delete it or change it, you can do it right in this menu right here.